Good morning, friends. I did something last night that I've never done before. I camped in an RV park in my van. So now that seems kind of weird, doesn't it? I've never camped in an RV park in my life in a van. A couple of times over the years, I have stopped at one of the little cabins at like a KOA campground when my daughter and I were traveling when she was young, but I've never actually stayed in an RV site. The reason is because I really don't like it when they're stacked up on top of each other like that. But it was 14 degrees this morning when I woke up, so I decided plug-ins were a thing I needed. Yep, I am now a proud owner of one of these little gitchy magaches. Plug it right in. So this is the USA RV Park in Gallup, New Mexico. Um, it's just so cute. In the summertime, I bet it's hopping. They have a little barbecue stand here. Lots of places to sit and eat. And they've got a little dog area. I bet this is a fountain. Yeah, a little waterfall. Pool. Yep, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. It was $30 a night, so that wasn't bad at all. And I cannot say enough good things about the staff that works here. Um, I said, I'm new to this, uh, and they were very, very nice to me. So I didn't have the right kind of plug to plug in my van. <laughs> so they were kind enough to sell me one for 10 bucks. And the lady next to me said, no, that's not a bad deal at all. That's about what you would have paid at Walmart. So I didn't have to go oh, check that out. So I was going to pop the drone up here, but, you know, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to pop the drone up here. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to just show you around a little bit, and, um, yeah, if you ever do find yourself in, uh, if you ever find yourself in Gallup, New Mexico, and you want an RV park, I highly recommend this place. It's very cute. The attention to detail. It's very clean, really cutely decorated. They even have those little cabins over there. They said those were also about $30 a night, but they're just a bed and a space heater. Okay. So, yeah, that's another thing. I get here, and my space heater doesn't work. So I went into their little store, and I said, oh, dang, I was hoping you had a little space heater for sale, but I guess I'll have to go to Walmart. And they said, no, we have some in those little cabins. We'll just grab you one and lend it to you for the night. I was like, wow, thank you so much. So I'm going to drop that off on my way out. Yeah, very, very cute place. Very cute indeed. Um, I'm just going to give you a real quick shot of the laundry room and restrooms and stuff. Then we're going to head on down the road. And there's my neighbor in the road track. Uh, I love a road track. My neighbor's vehicle is called the Beast because every time it breaks down, well, that's just the nature of the Beast. There's my lovely neighbor now. This is Carol. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi. Thank you so much for making my stay here last night so awesome. Oh, it was so wonderful meeting you. It was great meeting you, too. I hope you have a blast at the Women's RTR. I plan on it. It's going to be a lot warmer there than it is here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really that's what makes me want to kind of like just go straight to Phoenix and not stop uh -huh. in Flagstaff. Oh, man, it's going to be cold in Flagstaff. It is. Yes, yes, it is. It is. So. Yes, it's been very lovely meeting you, and uh, I was telling my viewers about the Beast. The Beast. It's such an awesome ride. I love uh, it. I love her. <laughs> yeah. And after all, anything that goes wrong with her, well, it's the nature of the Beast. Right. Right. That's so great. <laughs> Again, it was a real pleasure to meet you, Carol. Thank you. We'll see you on down the road. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. I made sure nobody was in here first. See how nice and clean. Very homey. It's a little steamy in here. I took a nice hot shower earlier. It was great. Yes, very, very cute place. And I did my laundry in here last night. Nice clean machines. $1.50 to wash. 75 cents to dry for 30 minutes. Yep, it took an hour. That's okay. I have clean clothes now. So, yep, not a bad place to be if you have to be somewhere. Alright, I'm going to pack up day bake and hit the road. I'm going to try to stop at Walmart real quick, buy a space heater for tonight, a couple other things. Head on up to the Tile Ski Valley. Do some skiing tomorrow. And I am going to drop that space heater back off at the 
office here and thank these fine folks for such a lovely time. Maybe they'll let me bring my camera in there too. Let's see. This is the awesome girl that lent me the space heater. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so this is Carol's maiden voyage in her road trek. I am so excited for her. You can tell she's very nervous, but um, I think she's got this. I think she's going to be great. Yeah, she's a smart lady. I think she's got this. I think she's going to have a ball with it. And, uh, yeah, I think she's going to... This lifestyle will suit her nicely. I sure hope I meet her on down the road somewhere again one day. Love meeting amazing people. You guys, I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate all the comments below. Love the interaction with you guys. That really is the best part of this YouTube thing, are the friends I meet. I hope wherever you are, you are having a fabulous day, and I'm going to head on down the road. Y'all stay lost, my friends.